Are you a real estate practitioner or investor struggling to keep up with today's fast-changing technology? Avoid being left behind. Learn real estate and technology in simple words without all the complicated jargon. Your treat, Talaka Young Real Estate at Technologia or Talks on Real Estate and Technology is a regular Saturday program every 6 p.m. hosted by two seasoned real estate practitioners, broker Arnel Malabayabas and consultant William Floresta who are both tech set. Learn the latest technology and trends in real estate from investors, developers, digital marketers and industry players. And treat yourself every Saturday at 6 p.m. and avoid the daunting task of learning on your own. Your special treat is on us. Ayan, Happy New Year! Marina Banggi and good morning, Real Estate. Uh, nasa first uh, broadcast po tayo ngayong 2021 and this is our 29th episode. Again, this is Arnel Malabayabas, your co-host here sa Talakayran Real Estate at Teknolohiya. Uh, good evening, Master uh, William. Hi, uh, Happy New Year sa iyo, partner. No? Happy, And New, Happy Year. New Year sa ating mga audience no? uh, from mm -hmm. all over the world. Kasi umaabot na tayo from, uh, dahil sa ating broadcast ay live sa Facebook at YouTube. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, naabot na natin lahat ng sulok ng mundo. Okay, so... Happy New Year to everyone and uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Yan yung ating greetings lagi, eh, oh. partner. Iba-iba ano yung uh, time of the day sa iba't ibang sulok ng mundo. No? Uh, and mm -hmm. we are glad that uh, sa 2021, ay, uh, we are still alive. Yun ang pinakamalaking blessing. Ah, ah. Blessing talaga. Blessing. Uh, blessing. Kasi everywhere, nakikita mo. And... Uh, Maraming ano, mga hindi magagandang balita but uh, so far dito sa ating talakayan, we always would like to have a positive view of every aspects of what we are talking here. No? So, mm -hmm. partner, uh, laging ano, ano, di ba, uh, swerte naman tayo at lagi tayo napapaunlakan in spite of uh, busy schedules ng mga guests natin, mm -hmm. ay uh, okay naman sila. No? So, tamang-tama yung ating salvo this uh, New Year na no? yung January 2, 2021. Okay, parang ang ganda mm. ng ano, ang ganda ng petsa, no? 1 2 no. 2021. <laughs> ganda ng petsa. Okay. So, review last ano, partner. Oh, last, la last, last, so, last time po ang ating special guest si Dean Gabriel Barreto, uh, isang yeah, uh, oh, NP and uh, Rhea Reb. Bali, ano po siya, dating dean po ng College of uh, ng Gardner. Uh, oh, bali, dating, yes, diniskas po niya. Right, eh. Yes. Apo, dinescas po yung informatics. Informatics. Dinescas po niya yung uh, ano yung course ng uh, BS REM. So marami kasing nalilito ano ba yung mga uh, ilang units ba talaga and then marami nagtatanong uh, kailan ba sila makakatapos. So cleaner cleanaro po ni Dean Gab yung ano yung issue na yan. So once and for all na ayos naman na uh, at kahit paano malinaw na para doon sa mga interested na mag-take ng BSRM courses so okay. ayan course okay. okay yung ano partner siguro if they want to ano to kasi pwede naman nilang panoorin di ba sa Facebook page natin yes, yes. yung uh, and then uh, rin doon yung ano yung uh, uh, link ng uh, Google Drive uh, para at least uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay para PDF file, file, yes. Yes. Kasi mm -hmm. most common questions yan eh uh, mm -hmm. yung kailan ba sila gagraduate pag nag-enroll sila ngayon so para yes. maintindihan mm -hmm. 
uh, siguro refer to our ano, our Facebook page yung mm. replay ng uh, episode 28 episode 28 okay so last uh, last uh, episode natin partner ay eh, three ano ano three PRC licenses yung uh, awak no ating guest na no? and uh, hindi pa naman siya nakakapag bar so three license lang pero kung makapasa siya sa bar so another license from ano naman ito no? from uh, mm. ito. iba kasi yung iba yung ano ng lawyer di ba iba yung uh, parang regulating ano regulating body mm-hmm. so this time yung ating uh, ating uh, guest ngayon ay holder of i think four no four uh, licenses Yeah. Uh-huh. So, siguro pwede na natin siyang introduce partner. Oh, syempre, uh, ito yung aking isang uh, ano, very uh, sabi nga Mr. Congeniality to na nagre-review kami okay. sa aming uh, I understand appraisal. batchmate mo siya, di ba? Batchmate oh, mo siya po. sa appraisal. Uh, yeah. appraisal batchmate oh, mo din siya sa isang ano, sa isang napaka-friendly sir, oh, napaka-friendly yeah. tao. Kaya I'm proud na nakasama siya natin siya ngayon. So let's okay. let's hear uh, his introduction. Our 2021 very first treat guest on our 29th episode is a graduate of electronics and communication engineering at De La Salle University. He also finished his master in management degree from the Asian Institute of Management. He is the marketing head of Titan Prime State Realty and Development Corporation. He is a very active senator of JCI Philippines, one of the oldest leadership development organization in the Philippines and Asia. As a real estate practitioner, He is a holder of three licenses as broker, appraiser, and consultant. Where he is an active member of the Philippine Association of Real Estate Boards and past president of Kama Naba Rep, as well an active member of Philippine Association of Realty Appraisers Incorporated and Philippine Association of Realty Consultants and Specialists Incorporated. He is also a member of the Philippines Institute of Environmental Planner being a licensed environmental planner. Ladies and gentlemen to give us his insights for the Philippines real estate prospects indicators for 2021. Let's welcome with a bang. Consultant Charlie T. Gao. Yan, good morning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good Charlie. morning. Uh, <laughs> Consultant Charlie. Nakamute ka pa. Don Charlie. Parang nag uh, yeah, okay. Naka, nakamute. Naka-mute. Ka pa. nakamute. Nakamute ka pa, Count Starly? Nakamute ka pa, sir. Ah, hindi na. Naka-open na. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay so, good morning. Uh, happy New Year sa iyo, uh, Count Stoltan Starly. Uh, uh, yes, happy parang New Year, Dave. Uh, uh, it's a very long, long, ano, long year na magkasama tayo. Sana dapat doon sa isang, uh, ano natin, ano, yung isang, uh, As a parent care, supposedly, no? uh, we're going to Montalban. And uh, you, equip yes. us, you equip us with communication, yung uh, handheld radio. Uh, yes, so. <laughs> Inarecall ko lang. No. No? However, nawala ka. <laughs> Ikaw yung naligaw. <laughs> uh, Charlie, yeah. go. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, kumusta naman yung, uh, ano, kumusta naman yung uh, celebration mo, Consultant Charlie, ng New Year? Yeah, uh, it's a different celebration this year, a little bit uh, uh, reserved, no? Everything is cut. But uh, I think yeah. it's it's one of the most intimate ano, uh, get-together this year. Because yeah. most of the groups I've, I've invited, we, we, we've used the Zoom platform or, or the online uh, platform. Uh, yeah. and I, I felt the the level of intimacy was better than face to face during during this 2020 and yeah. a lot of saka us appreciate ano, uh, saka yeah. wala kang uh, pwedeng tanggihan i mean you can you can do yeah. zoom uh, kahit sabay-sabay as long as you have the gadgets <laughs> unlike before pag yeah. Yeah, that's... yung ano nagtatampo yung hindi mo na pagbigyan ng invitation di ba <laughs> so ngayon yeah, mas yeah, parang that's... Uh, Okay. Yeah. Yun. And then uh, a lot of uh, a lot of things that ano in terms of yung sinasabi na economics. So I mm-hmm. think most of us no or in fact a majority of us has saved a lot no from the from doing the traditional way of celebrating the, this this Christmas season. 
uh, in yeah. terms of the spending. But I yeah. I, I believe the, the factor yung pumasok in technology, yung social media, and then the what I mentioned a while ago, yung platform of online online meeting, which is the Zoom, has contributed a lot, uh, has replaced what we've normally uh nor we normally been spending no and mm-hmm. yung mga ano yung mga inaanak so hindi ko na sila nakita so nakatipid din kayo don't do chicas yes kaya sponsor transfer mam transfer di ba Pero iba pa rin yung face-to-face pagdating sa... Yeah, iba pa rin. Sabi nga, I, I read na, somewhere, no? uh, uh, consultant uh, Charlie, I read somewhere na if anyone could do like, uh, ano daw, this year, yung parang uh, back to normal, yung yung ano, yung old normal, kung tawagin niya, old normal. And you can you can do some, uh, siguro yung hindi naman masyadong marami, no? like siguro group of five, kasi naalaw naman group of ten people. And if you can yes, do then. something like that, uh, that would be a uh, parang ano, parang innovation for year 2021. So something like yes, that. Yes, so. mga training, siguro maybe trainings and uh, sort of uh, para ano, face-to-face pa rin. Kasi people are looking for that, yung mga ginagawa natin dati sa old normal. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's true. Uh, yeah. yeah. Laking, so, laking bagay yung, ano, yung, yung mga in or no, no, uh, normal. <laughs> No, kasi dito sa consultant Charlie dito sa show natin, no, we always uh, took of uh, no, talk of uh, positive things, no? so therefore we would like to know from an insight from you, uh, ano kaya ang ano, ano kaya ang uh, although we cannot we can never tell, no, but we can just only maybe uh, make some assumption or some sort yes, of uh, little prediction no? on what will happen in 2021, especially due to sa industry natin. So would you agree to me, ano, partner, Arnel? Ah uh, yes so kasi uh, especially uh, importante yung mga insight coming from uh, experts or uh, uh, experience sa katulad ni ano consultant Charlie na was uh, been uh, in the industry uh, ng quite for, for quite some time and uh, somehow yung experience niya kasi sir and exposure niya would uh, truly be ano be a uh, parang guiding light natin this coming ano 2021 uh, kung ano ba yung possible insights natin ano uh, although tama nga sir, we can only assume but uh, still uh, ano to, sabi nga eh, scientific guessing <laughs> yeah, yeah, tama, tama so, meron na mga ano, eh, meron na mga meron naman tinatawag na tools ano, to measure no? tools to measure, mga statistics yung graphics yeah. uh, we can we can, ano, we can foretell mm. some, some, ano, some uh, predictions on what ka- will happen this uh, 2021. Mm-hmm. Siguro din nasalaw si ano si consultant Charlie to share something na no? uh, doon sa kanyang pananaw dito sa what will happen sa real estate industry. Okay. So, so may share ata si Sir ano si Sir na ano first slide mo sir and then I'll share yung ano yung PDF mo. Yes. Thank you so much. So so far uh, yes, as what we we always say, being a real estate uh, uh, licensed professional in terms of appraisal, brokerage, and also the consultant, we always say good morning, no? So as what I'm going to share is the Philippine Real Estate Prospect Indicators for 2021. And these are, I, I believe, mostly or majority statistics that that's uh that show show that shows what we can expect for 2021. Okay, so ginagawa ng mga geomans mga prediction. So in my case, I'll be sharing the real statistic. Uh, what we look for it. Yeah. Okay, Arnel, can you help me for the for the main slide? <clears throat> It's now in the screen, uh, so, uh, Sultan. Uh, in the screen. So Can you see right that? Now, uh, yes, yes. Okay, right now, let's start with uh, screen number one. No? Basically, this is a summarized, summarized, uh, summarized pointers, all the uh, around 30 plus slides. As I'm gonna... So basically, what I focus here is recovery outlook, the bright 
in the long term uh, scenario for our Philippine market in terms of real estate. For for the recovery outlook, we have a OFW remittance, the job generation, and the mobile behavior. Uh, all of this, the there will be statistics that's gonna be supporting what I what I have been pointing out, and also the bright spot now in terms of residential and industrial uh, type of uh, properties, and of course the long term uh, perspective for for our country in terms of the 2021 outlook. Okay, for the let's start with the OFW remittance. So I'm I'm not going too fast, naman, no? Okay. Yeah. For the okay, okay, okay. OFW yes, yes. OFW remittance. Basically, we have a graph here, no, that shows the last uh, three years, no. Uh, we got it from the BSP Banco Central ng Pilipinas statistic. Wherein it shows that uh, yung the white lines, you can see the colored line, no? uh, the white lines represent the 2020 trend. No? Uh, as you can see, no, yung, yung pandemic down, uh, the major sectors in the OFW uh, contribution towards our economy has been affected, even the March, May sector. But uh, we kind of surprised that towards the year end, September onward, ito yung nag fuel up na Philippine economy in it's around $2.75 uh, billion uh, dollars has been remitted during the September onwards period. September, we call it, uh, what we, we call it in the Philippines as the Burr months. So bumalik ulit yung, yung sigla, the, the, the magnitude of those OFW remittances comes this Burmans. Di talaga may iwasan yung nangyari sa atin. These are real Banco Central ng Pilipinas data. Okay? For the next slide, and in terms of remittance, these are the breakdown, no? For the 2020 remittance, as far as uh, what our data shows, US uh, people who are uh, remitting or are all W from the US still lead, no? In terms of uh, number of million dollars, no, they in fact they remitted around nine nine thousand eight hundred eight uh, eight hundred ninety nine million of US dollar for the for this year twenty twenty, okay, and the rest of the countries are major ano uh, catching up, but I think the US play, still plays the number one of our market, okay. In, as I've mentioned, the OFW remittance are re-stabilizing re as our trade and global commerce as our trade and global commerce recovers okay for the next factor in job generation uh this one of the data we we encountered last year now from the philippine statistic authority wherein uh there's a big dip no so from from uh uh 4.5 percent it dipped to to hit as high as 17.7 uh, percent and it kind of topple off at 10 percent for the un unemployment uh data okay but the bright side of this in the past three months of uh we call that the last three months of 2020 uh job listings has been popping up again that means economy is is uh, gradually opening it up and kind of look at the statistic at uh, where would the job opening be kind of notice yung kalokan kind of lead the the stats it's because probably if we look at the demo uh, or the demographics or the property sectors in kalokan city there's a lot of industrial uh industrial park or industrial manufacturing you know are being based there but probably they're they're trying to ano na, go go back to the economic you know, uh market and of course job generations are being generated again bringing down the unemployment rate okay for the next factor is the mobility behavior factor when i say mobility behavior these are these are the data that gathered from the google analytics now wherein we have uh mostly uh these are people going why do they go out now? These are from the residential sector. A lot of them go out probably for the for the grocery and pharmacy needs of 
yung parks, workplace, recreation still there. And really, the retail and recreation is one factor that's uh, supposed to be popping up our economy. And it's gradually making a climb no, towards uh, this uh, October, November, December period. Okay? For for the next for the uh, another uh, an, an, an analytical behavior is the location behavior uh most of uh the the stats that we gathered is uh young people are driving uh walking and transit no if you see the white line that's the driving sector where people are gradually bringing out their car if you notice yung itong recent bear months medyo talagang nata traffic na di ba probably that's a good in economic uh, indicator and of course, in congestion level, if you've seen the statistic for for the uh, Manila from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., we hit as high as 89 no? percent. Uh, uh, the uh, draft shows yung, ano, yung sa bottom part is the number of weeks of lockdown since March. And eventually, that 89 percent is way higher than uh, what we had in 2019. That's interesting to note that uh, people are gradually bringing out again their car, going back to the street. And of course, traffic is there. I, I'm sure some of you felt it. And then that's kind of considered as a good economic behavior. For the mobility behavior, more people are now returning to their place of work and tra traffic on an uptrend, as uh, you call that a side effect of recovery. Okay? For the next factor is the residential indicator. Here we have residential uh, in terms of yung prices, no? the price index, as what uh, published by the Banco Central. No? Uh, there's two graphs. No? One represents the NCR and the other one represents the area outside NCR. We, we call it AONCR. In terms of the AONCR, uh, it kind of uh, flattened. It doesn't have any much changes, but... But the real opportunity, you said it, as, as, as a real estate broker uh, is concerned, is that, the, is, that, is that the prices of the single touch has been dropping from the normal, uh, you call that, that uh, TCP price, or the, you call it the total contract price. Uh, maybe it's because of the demand, no? The, the demand is still in the NCR. And this is probably one of the best time, time to buy some of the real estate residential market. We call it the single attach or detach or the attach market. And of course, in townhouse has also found itself a, a, a downward, downward, downward dip during the early part of 2020. But for the townhouse, it has gradually returned to its ano, in level as what uh, uh, as what we had before, no, in before the COVID. But eventually, we kind of felt yung townhouse will have an ups, upward swing back. So kind of expect uh, if you kind of mark certain townhouse, um, there's a lot of opportunities to grab right now. Okay. And the next study shows yung condo. For condo, uh, you can see the average retail price has really dropped. Huh? And if, it's because probably the condo is mostly supported by the, I know, you called it the working market. So most of them has probably lost their job, with, in which contributes to their, I know, to their purchasing, uh, purchasing downtrend for the condos. Okay, so in fact, uh, some some condos has dropped way to negative seventeen. As uh, as as what we summarize as the residential indicators. The price decreases for NCR condos expected due to pandemic and work from home regime, and potential bargain purchases are available. So these are one of the, probably the bright sectors in terms of you call it the real estate uh, brokerage market. And are we okay so far now? For the industrial indicators, uh, of course, this has to be tied up with our you know, with our, our sales and production no. In terms of uh, value of sales index at what the BSP has provided, it does gradually have hit a downtrend during the pandemic, talagang lockdown, and but eventually it's climbing up, wherein sales are right now higher than the production. That's kind of 
uh, shows it's good news for us. It's because uh, properties, those who are in the industrial side, mga production or probably the warehousing has 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 gradually have to shoot up. Okay, so may mga bright spot for the no. And of course, one trend ng yari dito sa dito sa ano sa commerce natin for the Philippines is the emergence of ano. Uh, wait, wait. Ah, uh, is fuck the in website e-commerce website first. Can you go back? And website e-commerce. So warehouse and that. She's an inquiry. In web traffic. In web traffic, parang wala dyan. Wala, 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 sir. Ah, yeah, yeah, this one. Ayan na yung e-commerce. I was back down, down, down. Yung Lazada and Shopee. Down, down, down. Na, napabilis yung ano mo, forward. Yun. Yung e-commerce uh, sites. Yung Lazada and Shopee. These are the two major, ano, major factors wherein that's why our commerce still kicks up. The entry of ano, the e-commerce site. Notably, you call it Lazada or the Shopee uh, portal, wherein we can expect around 20 million. In fact, it, it will gonna hit 30 million and above. And it's gonna upward trend. Okay? In line of that, there's the e-commerce site for ano, uh, yung those who want to enter into e-commerce. It's called Shopify. So, again, it's also experienced a gradual increase wherein last part of the year, it hits 100,000 level. And this is a lot, no? A lot of individual business that's going online. And of course, for the seasonal inquiries of uh, warehouses, uh, the trend is always there. Uh, as it, if you notice in 2020, the downward dip was down, but come months, it kind of hit up again. So we're kind of look at uh, a very promising 2021. Also, yung emergence of the tracking, wherein the logistic is tied up to that. If you notice yung 2020 trend, the green, can you see the color naman, no? the green graph? Uh, yes, this is in line to the support system of the, no? support system of the warehousing needs. And of course, in cold storage, it's one market that's not given attention probably much before. But right now, uh, if you notice the twenty, the trend for uh, 2020, it shoots up during the burn. And this is one market that's uh, that's something, I know, uh, uh, that's something you can explore into, especially yung, yung Sinina vaccine is coming here. Uh, there will be a demand for cold storage for that. That's one example for that. Okay? So far, are we okay? Okay. statistic and of course just to summarize it the industry recovers at around 80 to 90 percent level which is probably close to our 100 percent level our pre-pandemic the e-commerce will drive the expansion the demand for the warehouse tracking and cold storage facilities that are uh that are uh beyond the previous level no? from the previous pre-covid the this is where the demand for the trucking uh, warehouse and the cold storage kicks in right now. And for the long term, okay, was at what I have summarized it. Uh, our GDP, call it a gross domestic product projection. If you notice now, uh, if you put all the stats together, we are about negative 7.5. But for if you flip to the next slide, uh 2021 so we're gonna hit a positive seven percent no so it's very optimistic for 2021 for us to return back to uh, what our uh, pre-covid days but not fully but eventually the projection in terms of our national econ economic forecaster in mga imf adb those, those uh, banking sector like uh yung nomura hsbc these are these are very optimistic statistics, uh, data that they're showing. And of course, at, at, as what we said, uh, you call it fundament, economic fundamentals for economics uh, Economics are there. These are present. We're in their low foreign investment rate credit uh, rating. 
and of course our young growing population okay as that way as, that, as what i has said in percent debt to gdp the next slide will shows that the philippines is around 41 percent now in percent of debt to gdp if you've seen it so if you notice the philippines uh is is paid at around 41.5 percent that's why our government is kind of confident that the it means that philippines can borrow more uh, in terms of the government or national level so probably to to kick in our you know, our economy back to back to reality you know what we had before and then that's why if we notice the for is it the three tri trillion or two trillion budget that they're signed up i believe that will be sourced from this uh foreign debt okay so in terms of uh, ano, hindi naman talagang kawawang kawawang Pilipinas. And of course, the sweet spot is yung spending power ng ano, yung median age in 24 to 30. Uh, if you notice yung graph, no, we are we are in the 2010 to 2030 ano sectors yung green ano. So that means we still have many young population to ano to I mean to pop up our economy. So if you notice, yung 24 to 30, this I, I believe is one of the prime uh, prime working working force of our economy, and luckily the Philippines is in the mid mid middle of that uh up uh, in, in that upward swing, and of course I hope I hope they don't bore you. That's my last slide, and I can share this slide. Naman I'll just summarize it, and then I can share it to our viewer and I'll, I'll show now just to credit the the data i collected uh okay let's share going screen go yeah so in case you want some some of this data this is done by the standout property designer brokers uh by one of the one of the uh brochure or is more of a known as an emp uh, it's Justin Victor, Victor de la Cruz. I can this that statistic for you. For this, that's uh, I believe some of the sectors. Wait, I'll go back. So some of the sectors, especially our real estate sectors, uh, would be more optimistic in terms of what will happen in 2021, and hopefully not another virus gonna hamper us down. But we look forward as 2021 as a year na we have to recover, we have to make money. And as what uh, 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 so at what William and Arnold said a while ago, uh, we're lucky to be alive and it's about time for us to, to, to harvest or to return to normal on as much as possible as what we have lost before the pre-COVID days. And this statistic clearly shows that uh, the indicators are there. It's about time for us to step up. We are sort of, you call it economic uh, first in terms of economic uh, real estate first concern. With this, uh, yeah, I turn over to our host. I hope you pick up something in, in terms of these economic indicators. And I believe these are the key, key critical facts that we need being being in in this uh in these sectors that we love for several years okay uh thank you thank uh, you so much uh, uh consultant uh, charlie for that insights okay uh siguro tanong mm -hmm. lang namin uh like uh, in your own practice diba? you you have uh, three professions yes, uh, three four, right? uh, yes, yes you are four. into brokerage appraisal or consultancy or the okay, ELT yes. practice yeah. Yes, mostly the the brokerage and the and the and the appraisal is my main line, and wherein mm -hmm. yung consultancy at the ENP are just are just something that I I do it for sort of uh yung parang free na rin, di ba? as a friendship friendship uh rate because uh yeah. as I, as I said my experience is quite new I I still want to stick first the basics which is the brokerage and appraisal yun okay. But Wait, uh, uh, yeah, yes. Okay. Ah, yun. yeah. Yung, ano, yes, in terms sorry. of your, your practice, di ba? Uh, what happened? Yes, sa, ano, what happened dito sa 
uh, during the COVID, no? uh, it, did it hamper your operations? Uh, or, things, or, has, yeah. things, have, yeah, things has hampered uh, in terms of uh, internal and external. No? Uh, externally, our buyers, those who are, who are uh, actually, just to let everybody knows, I'm handling a uh, small subdivision. It's more of economic housing set up in San Jose del Monte, Bulacan, wherein most of the buyers are into residential housing. And then during the COVID, it hampers our, ano, uh, in, externally our buyers uh, factor na mostly kasi OFW. Eh. So the, it's the first time that they start defaulting their payment, they start, they start having a hard time complying with their uh, financial requirement. This is the first time we, we, we have happened to, to our project. And then at the same time, internally, uh, our construction side and then the the processing of the own site has also hampered. It's because of those lockdown. But uh, luckily, I think it's a big factor. As I, what I can suggest to everyone is to invest into yourself uh, by doing uh, online learning, get some more licenses, or doing some more, no, or talk to you know, senior like you, or like you, <laughs> like most of us. Uh, to get some more ideas and it helps a lot no yeah uh, you call that uh firefighting firefighting in terms of uh yung mga no yung mga troubleshooting ev elements and when we started 2020 with this pandemic we don't have any statistic on this no we were surprised all of the stats are you no know, are pointing upward but what covid did uh, especially the lockdown things has changed but uh, I'm more optimistic to 2021 because I was able to grab type of uh, graph and data and indicators has shown where to focus right now. As I've said, now, the residential, industrial sector is one big factor. And of course, the e-commerce side. And I think I'm more equipped this year no, than rather than last year uh, in terms of, uh, no, uh, of this uh, economic uh, activities is concerned. Yeah. So dun sa ano sir di ba you mentioned earlier uh medyo uh, it come it came it came out a surprise what happened this year no when come oh, when uh, yes, yes. when we had this lockdown and somehow um uh, yung as a developer or handling a, a subdivision uh, uh project eh, many of your investors probably na hirapan din sila uh, in in case uh, they want to pay uh, they don't have the facility or the the you know the the uh, means na makapagbayad online kasi uh, nakapagbayad directly kasi online uh, online hindi pa masyadong gumagamit ng mga online uh, payment facilities ng mga buyer natin no? what are the uh, uh, future proofing uh, strategies or activities have you been doing sa company ninyo para at least to be able to cope up in case uh, this is truly actually new normal na to for us so what are the things that you have done to your company or with your company Para future proof yes. na yung minitong uh, classing uh, scenarios. scenarios. Yes, yes, it's a nice, uh, no, it's it's a very good question. Uh, one of the future proofing is to automate e almost everything, not but not everything. Uh, we we Filipinos are mostly non non ano, eh, non internet based before no internet ano, but eventually the the pandemic has taught us to be more internet in uh, internet or e commerce savvy. And in terms of ano, uh, I believe uh, yung yung pagkaritooling sa company by by integrating in e-commerce technology is a big factor for you to ano to step up. Uh, one example is one developer now, uh, which, which is I believe uh, they've been doing very well in 2020. Uh, yung grupo ng uh, you call it SMDC no? just to plug it. No? So. Their, their team has heavily invested in the marketing side in terms of training, in terms of marketing, and it rips, rips them a lot of results. This is one model I believe that uh, will will help uh, will help one developer or one probably house owner no, to to harvest more of what you can no? as, as the data shows of W is one key driver. And we have to grab that opportunity that ano, OFW will come back and they will kick back our economy. And then 
if, if the e-commerce platform or the internet platform or whatever is not there in, in your organization, uh, definitely you'll be left out. And we're lucky this year, our statistic not only from my end, but uh, there's the st uh, stats that has been thrown out by other groups, no? And it kind of sync in what we, we what I presented a while ago. Uh, and I believe uh, these are the things that, you know, uh, probably the management has to, you know, uh, re, re, re and adopt this technology. Yes. Uh, thank you for that insights again, uh, Constarly. So, partner, pakita lang siguro natin yung sa comment, uh, comments, yung mga chats na. Si Feliciano Blanco Tare, uh, Happy New Year daw. Yan, uh, from uh, Philstar Real Estate Brokerage. And uh, nag-greet din si Miss Chrissy Marie S. Solis. Hello and uh, Happy New Year daw po. And also si uh, Al Fajardo. Hello, go, go, uh, Boss Charlie. And syempre, isa sa mga suki natin, uh, si Sir Jovi Topas. Bingo for the New Year, partner Charlie. And go, go, gao. <laughs> Sabi niya. Ayan. And also, we have Evelyn Santos Cabillo. Happy New Year po. Okay. And uh, Miss Arlene Aliwalas. Uh, good AM. Happy New Year, mga sir. Si Miss Edna Valle Tumala, ayan, greeting again. And uh, si Miss Teresa Salazar, ayan, greeting to the three of us. And si Jam Gonzalez, happy new year daw. Galing ng speaker, Idol Charlie Gao, sabi ni Miss Jam. Batsmate si natin yan, Batsman Charlie. Uh, ayan, and si yes, Miss so. Raquel, ayan, happy new year mga boss, sabi niya. Yung ating isa sa mga guests before, ayan. So, so yan yung mga questions. Yeah. Yeah. Siguro we we encourage our viewers no to maybe yes. uh, ask some questions regarding dun sa presentation ng ating guests mm -hmm. today. So if you if you will ano if you will uh, add to the tawag dito, if you ask questions para masagot ng ating uh, uh, ano guest uh, speaker for today. So ano lang uh, constantly no ang I was ano lang uh, yeah. kind of uh, Sempre ano naman tayo optimistic naman tayo lagi na when it comes to selling but uh, ang ang ano ang uh, most trends kasi di ba uh, there are there are still OFWs na pinabalik sa atin so nabalitaan mo ba based dun sa statistics ni Justin kung they are again hiring hiring these OFWs or they, these are new uh, ano, yes. these are new opportunities uh, actually, the, the the doors has opened uh, both ways. Uh, uh -huh. uh, number one, they're definitely hiring them, and the, and number two, uh, a lot of doors has opened. No, uh, in terms of uh, yung OFW sectors or no, yung job opportunity opportunity sectors. No, uh, the market has opened up because some of the alignment has has ano, has to be there. No. Those who are mm. can't fit to join the, this type of organization or or this type of overseas work, they have to move out. And of course, a, a lot of doors are are are, no, are gonna gonna be open definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Pero uh, that, did you hear from ano yung mga seafarers? Uh, kasi di ba affected yung maritime industry? Yes. Yes. Seafarers is one huge market. Uh, of course, yung nakatay up sa tourism, no. Uh, so far, we haven't had the tourism data, but tourism is one major, major factor. Has in, uh, in fact, uh, if you, I, I've seen the the presentation of uh, yung season, ano, season brokers si Lee Chu, no. Uh, one of the driving factor for him is the tourism, and also yung 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 build 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 project ni ano ni Duterte. Wherein, in okay. if you seen the skyway right now now it, it takes less than an hour from going to north to uh, from the south to north but it's already you know these are two additional factors that has to that that will come in this 2021 and hopefully we'll will felt it sana fully by by the year 2022 and of course for this seamen who are affected uh most of them has to be retooled no? 
if they can fit to their to that sector but definitely i believe most of them are still i know i still optimistic that the tourism for one we call it the which is the shipping sector example has has to come back yeah okay uh partner do you have question for our guest yeah, I, I've heard, because uh, mostly uh, we had this what we call work from home regime nga, as you uh, shared earlier, sir. No, uh, any you know, any insight on uh, yung sa sa residential na house and lot, especially on the ano, located sa mga provinces or nearby provinces sa Metro Manila. Ah, okay. Mostly, yung residential is a uh, residential market. It's a uh, it's it it covers everything near the NCR level, because as far as the stats shows, NCR is still the driving force of the economy, wherein most of the most of the we call that the job opportunity or the economic ano, is in NCR. So anything near the NCR or outskirt. That's why one factor is the emergence of we call that the 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 seat of uh, San Jose del Monte. It used to be called a small city, but uh, just to let you know, recently this December, yata, uh, Duterte has signed a, ano na, a, a approval that it's already a highly urbanized city. So HUC uh, level now. In fact, I, I met the mayor of San Jose del Monte. In fact, he, he was the one who, who told me first before what the news came out so i was lucky to meet him during the time of uh, last december and he shared to me that uh the and the needs for ncr is still there but uh i mean the outskirts city are still it's, it's now the begin to develop the you know, it's, we could begin to develop as a you know, as a city level now, wherein those who have investment in their area for example has already you know call it kind of appreciate already yes uh, ang critical na lang ngayon, sir, is may improve yung ating uh, telecom, no? And uh, yes, I, I think may, may nag-share during one of our uh, tri uh, re review na parang meron daw atang bill na pre na uh, yung sa subdivision should be, meron na dapat parang uh, telecom tower dapat yung mga <laughs> new, new, newly built subdivision or mga residential property. Yeah, dapat siguro kasi yeah, dapat. Diba, they're, they're, the problem is uh, when when you move in, lalo na kung ikaw yung first mover dun sa dun sa subdivision, wala ka pang masyadong facility. So siguro it's really high time na no? kasi important ngayon yung ano telecom, di ba? What do you think uh uh consultant yes. Charlie on that proposal? Yes. Na in place yeah, na muna yung mga infrastructure, no? Oo. Oh, oh. That's why you know, if you notice uh, st stats kanina, yeah, it mentioned about the emergence of uh, you, you call that the, the Lazada and Shopee market, wherein people start want to buy something online, di ba? As the emergence of yung Spotify, Shopify, ba yun? Shopify, that uh, people who has business want to integrate into online. So they're, they're kind of jumping to the online platform, wherein, of course, one of the support system is the internet, ano? internet service. And we have to expect the internet service has to improve also this 2021 as the number of users has already, uh, if not tripled, but exponentially grown. No? Uh, I believe uh, yung, yung, yung normally the brick and mortar malls that are having, that we are having uh, used to be before, like the one in SM, are start also to jumping into that online, pla online uh, selling, selling platform. So it's a natural flow, no? If 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 the the our service provider cannot provide it, but the market is really huge, uh, I believe that the third telco will will kick in without any, you know, without any further thoughts. Yeah. So these are the things that you know, you call it demand supplies, you know, effect. Okay, so let's move to another siguro insights uh, consultant charts. Do you think sa 2021 do we need more practitioners sa uh, industry natin? Kasi uh, I think there were I, I saw the, the the website of PRC there are announcement of uh forthcoming ano, examination no? 
for uh, real yes, estate yes. broker, real estate appraiser, and real estate consultant. In fact, si partner, consultant. review in that, <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Do it, you it think? Uh, my, uh, sige, yeah, sige, in go ahead, case, yes. uh, yeah, it's a it's a good question, sir. I know, sir William. No, so the in, the the market still needs a lot of no? a lot of we call that a certified professionals in terms of real estate brokerage appraisal and consultant but on the other hand uh the market still needs someone to we call that to police or regulate the the people that are not into this type of uh, uh license yet no but hopefully we need to further on improve yung yung level of ano yung licensing almost uh, everyone uh, through our uh, pre-RC system and the market really needs a lot of this and and we have to sync that with we call that the ASEAN ano? ASEAN real estate uh, real estate uh, we call that uh, trend nila wherein if you look at ASEAN countries they're also step stepping on that trend that they're the, that they're adding ano, more mark for this type of ano, professionals and welcome talaga welcome for for the prc and of our regulators to to have more of this uh board exam or more more licensing procedure as long as it the procedure is always there uh, i believe people will follow naman uh if it's big if it's if if it's the buyer barrier is hard to get in to have a license then i believe uh people will look will do something elsewhere but that, that that's the sad part of that but if, if what, what when you say the market is there, the market still needs it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, for several yeah, days, I, yeah. I tried okay. to access the okay. PRC okay. and uh, maintenance pa din daw sila. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So, Yung site nila na uh, okay. Doon sa, no, sa pinakita mong slides kanina, uh, there was a downtrend no, sa condominium, Okay. Uh, but uh, in the contrast, di ba, you also mentioned yung sa SMDC that is doing well. So overall, uh, yes, sir. there are companies ba na medyo down or or are they the same with the uh, SMDC who has uh, successfully uh, uh, drive the, the condominium selling upwards? Uh, probably what SMDC did no, is you have to probably have some statistic that you know what type of marketing for their i think, believe for their project right now you they they kind of have the statistic or the knowledge that they're targeting sort of the ofw the internet user those who are probably based abroad with with still a stable flow of income and that's where you call that you know where to target you play what i the, uh, share to fellow brokers is you have to play smart no it's not a matter of throwing yourself in the internet, but you're not, you don't know who to target it. You're targeting the whole world. That's probably the wrong connotations, no? And that has to be one main factor that the developer, uh, as a point of view, or uh, a developer point of view or investor point of view, has to learn from this. If they can't follow it, I'm sorry, but they have to roll, roll out and probably do some traditional way which is to slash their price you know so these are the things probably that some of the developers are doing yes okay as we uh, know diba? as we noticed the trend uh the high-end market was so affected and uh yeah. do you think uh, there's a uh, no, there's a bounce back of the high-end market this coming 2021 I, I believe yung affected is mostly the as of now. Uh, I believe the mostly the one affected are the marginal sectors, the low, the probably the the CD market, because uh, parang hand to mouth ang ano nila, eh, parang uh, in terms of revenue stream nila, no? Say they work, they have limited savings, you know. And the high end market, I believe the will still be there. They're looking for a very good bargain. And believe me, if there's a very good bargain, uh, the hot, the, the, you call it the selling like a hot cake will kick in. So the high-end market probably is just a wait and see uh, sectors. But uh, I believe the Filipinos still have lots of money. Naman. 
But those who didn't play smart, probably in terms of integration, for one, uh, yung two pro, no? the e-commerce integration, and the number two is yung warehouse or logistic, in, ano, logistic, uh, logistic uh, integration. If you see our statistics, one of our stats, no, is the emergence of, ano, wala tayong, ano, ibang stats, yung, ano, regarding yung mga deliveries, di ba? Yung, yung, yung terms of yung lala move or those grab car, you know, though things are, things are doing well right now. Uh, in fact, they're the, one of the drivers of the economy. Yes. Okay. So I think partner, merong dalawang mabal sa comment, no? Uh, Mo anyway, uh, i-add ko lang sir kanina dun sa, follow up ko lang dun sa questions mo regarding dun sa uh, issue on dun sa pag-deep uh, nung sa sale ng condos. And uh, na-mention kasi ni Cons Charlie na if you'll be selling online, dapat daw, uh, you should not be parang uh, uh, targeting everyone. Uh, who would yeah. you suggest sir or recommend na ita-target mo if ever I'll be choosing a demographics ng ita-target ko? Especially sa Facebook, di ba? Meron dyan na uh, uh, you'll be able to target kung sino yung gusto mong uh, market that you will introduce your product. Who would you recommend or suggest na i-target natin? Especially coming from our OFW uh, uh, sector. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Probably in my case, no? I have to look first what what project you're handling, no? So, if your project is... Uh, what What is your inventors? Probably, I know, but but uh, mostly the residential is a very look still a very lucrative market everybody wants a piece of their home no and then and then yung in terms of yung target market uh, i believe yung strategy of ano yung yung immerse ng groups no there used to be a facebook for all no but there is there use there there there's a, ma, a lot of uh, option na ano yung lumalabas na facebook groups where in the Facebook groups, there are certain market that ano, that uh, that 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 caters to certain needs of your ano. So I believe those Facebook Facebook groups that if you ever you can join or target it, that's the one of the ano, one of the best ano, best market that you can ano, you can focus on that. And as I've said, residential is still the number one ano, number one uh, we call it selling a, like a hot cake type of inventory item. Yes. No. Okay, so let's see yung mga nag-comments pa, sir. Uh, we have here uh, Joan Villaflor Noes Quirante. Uh, so proud of our PTP 18 President Charlie and may clap pa siya. And uh, si uh, Mr. Feliciano <laughs> Blasco Tare, he asked this question. Uh, sabi niya, based on my experience during pandemic as a real estate bro, brokerage, maraming seller ang pumapasok as bargain price due to need immediate fund at my market grab opportunity to buy low price. Okay. May market down na uh, grab opportunity to buy low price. Yan yung kanyang... Siguro ito yung mga nag... Uh, siguro yung gusto niyang sabihin yung may mga resale, na? Uh, hindi yep. naka... Uh, hindi naka... Uh, resale price... Uh, resale uh, inventories. Okay? Yung mga second market. Mm -hmm. Okay, last uh, we have here si Cesar Madriaga Jr. Go, Charlie Gao. <laughs> mga... <laughs> Thank you so much, mga fans. Uh -huh. But uh, what I shared probably what I've shared today is some some statistic that we can uh, go through go to go through this year, 2021. Uh, I hope the, this is we are with right now because uh just that white said now we go all of us went to 2020 without any knowledge that uh this will happen no and a lot of our skill has uh other other skill that we didn't realize has already been polished no in terms of probably the budgeting how to stay frugal during the lockdown you know and how to avail of this online online platform like this zoom or Streamyard, you know and then the online learning and I believe yung 2021, it's about time for all, I hope all, no? But if you're not that uh, that, uh, that up to date or probably up to, that fast, but I hope majority of us will, will have to swing up, no? 
this is the time that we have to earn money and ano and fill in our pockets. And with this statistic that I I've shown no, uh, being provided in uh, by one of my friends who did the research, but uh, this statistic is some points out to some sectors that we we have tap into no. Uh, as I've said, no, nandiyan yung e-commerce, nandiyan yung probably the residential community, nandiyan yung tracking sector, nandiyan yung logistic, housing, yung cold storage, really, ano. Uh, so these are some things that, ano, some things that uh, I think we already, we call it, we call it retool, di ba? We're already tooled for, for, since we all went to 2020 and we survived, we're still alive, that's just what, you said in the opening statement and this is one big move that ano that we have we have uh mentioned ago and it's say uh what we're in right now in 2021 is for us to kick back and you know, and earn our own millions hopefully millions and uh, you know, and probably you know, uh and and return to normalcy as much as possible but of course uh we kind of look yung yung vaccine is the key but if you didn't do anything, just wait for the vaccine, you know. But you have to do other things that that has to supplement your, you know, your 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 businesses or probably your profession. Like I I mean what I shared a while ago, no. You have to study. You have to uh, attend seminars. And believe me, this is the cheapest way to learn uh, for most of us because most of the seminars are online. And also, it's free, no? I believe most of them are free, but with with a little or some with a little fee. But this is the cheapest way to study, you know. In fact, I, I I've seen a MBA school in Singapore. They're offering like how much? Now ten thousand dollars. You have a a degree now in Europe, something like that. So something like this is the cheapest way that you you have to know. But if you guys still sit there and wait for that vaccine and wait for the government to give you something, a you, you call that you about this one example, and you're doomed to roll out and and probably die lala. <laughs> Sorry about that, but sabi ko kayo and 2021 we are entering this year with statistics that are quite strong, no? In terms of those are the technical side, yung GDP, yung mga purchasing power, whatever. We're we're kind of turning with a strong statistic. Like in 2020, we're probably when during that time when we entered 2020, we're entering we're entering at that time na sinasabi ng mga mga feng shui master na blah blah blah. This is gonna be a good year, you know. But uh, what I like about this trip. Uh, this opportunity in this in this show yung talakayan real estate at technology technologia trip is we started this year the first episode with strong statistic and the statistics so far it looks good diba? so it's a matter yeah. of you how how do you want to ano na, how do you want to harvest it and and probably do some board planning or or company planning or even personal planning so this is the best time to, ano, I mean, to to work it out and start the year, year right, uh, without yeah. any, ano, yung mga, mga forecast na un unknown, di ba? Yun, yun lang ano ko. Sorry about that. It's too you. long, ba? I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, yes, it's okay lang. I agree with you. Uh, <laughs> no such thing. Uh, yeah. Now, um, let's go to, ano, kasi last, last episode, uh, bisita namin yung Dean, no, ng Garner College. So, uh, according to him, yung one of the best, ano nga daw, uh, kung instead of getting like uh, management course or or uh, yung sa business course, no, why not go into BSRM? So do you do you also recommend na uh, ito sa young people, no, to get uh, or to ano, to enroll on the Bachelor of Science in Real Estate Management as a course in the future? The the market's still big, no. If you've seen the statistic. Uh, there's no. Uh, I I think uh asset for sale or what in the O N C R area outside N C R. N C R might be very tight, but uh there's nothing wrong to to get the B S R E M. We're in. I, I, I as I said, no. The real estate sector is one sector that you can you know you can make you rich or richer or richest. And but if you don't tool yourself, we call that uh, invest in yourself, no, to make it the uh, plain simple terms. And you just sit there and wait for certain certain factors to come in. But uh, you might be left out. 
And besides, uh, if you don't go in, somebody will go in. We will go in, no? Tama ba? So, and, and yeah. grab all the shares. That's why yung sinasabi na BSREM is just peanuts or it's just icing on the cake lang. So, it's one one step you have to invest. Uh, like in, in my case, I invested in all of the professions that's related, related to real estate. So, I'm, I'm kind of in, uh, harvesting it uh, gradually over now. But for the new guys, lucky for you, uh, we call it, the, you have these online lessons, online classes, and online academy. Might as well grab it and ano, there's nothing to lose and it's more than worth it. Yun, yun ang ano, advice. Thank you so much for that advice, uh, Consultant Charlie. So, um, partner, um, do you have uh, do you have a question for our guest? Uh, actually, sir, ano eh, uh, na, nakita ko kasi nadagdag pala kay uh, Cons Charlie yung ENP. So, uh, medyo may ina-aspire na naman akong bago. <laughs> Oo, oh, that's uh, <laughs> Pero, ano kasi ngayon yan eh. Or sorry, ngayon yan. Uh, dapat talaga continuous learning i i i ano i agree with the uh, constantly uh, kami na magkaklase kami sa appraiser eh talagang uh, uh, as a, uh, not only a broker pero dun sa class namin na sa, sa appraiser uh, uh, talagang ano kakaibang ano eh kakaibang uh, additional uh, uh, learning yun wherein you can apply it in our profession di ba in our practice sa kaisa pa you, you cannot give a, a, a good uh, advice to your uh, uh, future clients if ever you don't have this ano, basics yeah. and uh, somehow right now uh, kung si Sir, si Cons Charlie maybe eh, sabi niya nga nag-start pa lang siya mag-practice ng consultancy ako nag-start pa lang ako mag-practice ng, sa, sa appraisal ko din eh, somehow uh, ang, ang full concentration ko pa rin is ano uh, brokerage pero it's still we, we need to ano we need to aspire, aspire and learn more no Otherwise, uh, sabi nga ni Cons Charlie, you'll be left behind. <laughs> Especially na sa period tayo na talagang kahit o paano, yung ating industry napaka-resilient. And this is a good industry talaga that will make you rich, richer, <laughs> and give you all the riches that you need, di ba, Cons Charlie? Uh, sinabi mo kanina. Yes, yes. Alam mo, believe ako dito well, kay Cons Charlie. Uh, sabay, yes. niyang, sabay niyang kinuha yung ENP at saka... <laughs> Taking two lessons in a year, I got my uh, 2019 was a memorable year. I got real estate consultant license, uh, license, and also my ESS in the year. And mm-hmm. board is somewhere like one to two months apart. Lang. And yeah, totally, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it will, you know, it, it ruins my, you know, my sleeping habit. So I kind of sleep it, uh, nasira yung sleeping habit. But syempre, the rewards is, the rewards is there. Yeah, but the um, I, as I said, no, it's to invest, you call it invest in yourself, no? Di, di ata, ano, people are kind of say, ay, gastos lang to, you know, gastos lang that. So these are the things that if you invest in yourself uh, and you got it, and these are the things that will you know will help you combat things like what the covid did to us so i i kind of learn a lot and then i try a lot so this is that i would share, you know as i've said no rem is one one valuable course you have to invest and i believe in next year to share one development sa industry no yung yung ginagawa ng pareb is I think Pareb will be hosting the ASEAN, you call that Arena Market, the Arena Organization, where it's composed of uh, around mga, how many countries, sir, William? Uh, yung ASEAN country? Uh, yung, eight, in, so, eight, 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 yeah. And these eight countries are progressive countries, no? Most most of them. And if you don't, if you don't invest on that basic, you call that BSREM, you won't get into this, that this circle, will help us not only practice our profession here no but also eventually we'll be practicing our profession on the ASEAN level okay which is more realistic uh, rather than yung sinasabi na yung yung other side of ano yung America or no but this ASEAN level i'm quite optimistic that this is one big factor that ano that one has to avail of those real estate license 
in order to get in and be one of us. Tama ba? Tama ba sa'yo? Ano? <laughs> tama, tama. So, the, when ASEAN opens up, ready na tayo, no? I mean, those who are licensed and those who are invest at the proper time. Yun. <laughs> okay, partner. Uh, may additional ka ba? Uh, may isa pang umabol. Happy, uh, greeting. Happy New Year, Sir William. Uh, okay. Same day, Castilla House. Oh, ayan. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. So, So yan tama ang ganda sir ng ating ano ng ating start no kasi we have this uh, positive insight uh, na nakuha natin from uh, Cons Charlie sana uh, gawin ninyong uh, ano to parang for the year guiding ano ninyo guiding uh, uh, guidance niyo for you po, sa operations niyo uh, how uh, paano niyo i-set yung market niyo yung target niyo and uh, things that you need to do to operate well uh, this would be a good guide for us Probably ano nga tama yung sabi ni Con Starley kanina uh, yung uh, start to ano na start to plan and uh, focus on your goal on the para sa this coming 2021 kasi I think uh, everyone agrees naman na uh, there's no ano eh there's no reason not to go out to recover no uh, kasi medyo nasanay na rin tayo so far eh. nasanay na rin tayo dun sa mga sa mga restrictions na galaw natin, sa movements natin, ano? So, alam na rin natin kung paano mag-ingat. So, therefore, yun. So, patingin ko, kailangan talaga gawin na natin yung, ano, para this year, we can recover. This year, we can recover. Yes, ha? Huh? So, if you still can't recover this year, so, uh, <laughs> probably, you have to look at your, ano, yung areas, you call that areas for improvement. And yes, you have yes. to invest a little more. But uh, I've said now, this is the year that uh, most of our uh, co-profession, real estate professional, will have a a a, you know, a busier time to recover. And I believe those who already have invested in terms of what you call it, the professional license and experience will have the upper hand. And those who have not, please invest in yourself. Eh, sinasabi na kanina SRE, that's one way of ending our our circle, no? You call that the, ano, yung self, ano? Our box. Uh, if you come want to come with our box, so you have to invest in yourself. And then, of course, when you invest yourself, statistic that was thrown a while ago will be more understanding to you. And you'll see, ay, dun pala yung pinto. Uh, a lot of doors will be open there. And with this statistic that, that's, for example, that was shown a while ago, Uh, I don't have to point further, but it's a good time to invest in that line of business. If you don't still don't grab a uh, story, lang, and probably, you know, uh, mauna muna kami. Bagan ba yun? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah. maraming salamat, uh, Consultant Charlie, no, for yes, the, yes, uh, yes. The, uh, the inspiring uh, message to our uh, audience. No? And I hope hindi ito yung last, ha? we can invite you again for uh, siguro in the future. Yeah, no? yeah. So, uh, next episode yes. pa rin kasi gano'n naman talaga eh. Di ba? Uh, we, we keep on updating our audience on what is happening in our industry. Di ba? And of course, uh, by the way, hindi yeah. mo natanong pala partner, ano yung ini-employ pala, ano yung ginagamit ni Kung Charlie on the technology side? No? Kalimutan natin yeah. kasi pala tayo, trip pala tayo, real estate yeah. technology. No? So, what the technology mo? applications uh, na ginagamit sa Zoom. Applications uh, as, as your tool dito sa, ano, sa practice mo? Ah, in my case? In my case, tama oh, ba? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, your so your company, your, your, your operations. So yeah, yeah. Uh, we can discount the value of social media. no? Uh, if you're not in the social media, you're definitely out because Basically, that's the first entry level for people who are not in the in the circle or wants to know more about you or especially more about your project. The social media has to be there. So, yung social media is tied up sa mga, you call it the Facebook level, you know, the, you know, yun yata Instagram, no? But I, I'm not an Instagram person. And of course, the Twitter will count. But I think the, the social media has to have a foothold In, in terms of your uh, investment. Uh, and of course, yung, yung factor ng back-end, no? 
the back end support uh in terms of the office but right now uh i have i have we have some some of the stuff that is not suited to this ano? and this is what what 2020 did to us now we kind of filter out sorry about to say about this we kind of filter out those who cannot cope up with our system with the with the sin of the test. and i've i've said as said a while ago 2020 has already molded us to what we are now no in sabi na social distancing and then those those factors ng ano pandemic yung guidance regulation and how to market and how to use the online and then retooling ano it's it's about time for us to ano na, to to harvest of it because we already undergone the 2020 training already and we are certified 2020 sur survivor tama ba in term ba we are certified 2020 survivor and then it's about time for, for us to, ano, to to grab all of this opportunity that's why on my on our first day of work back to office uh equipped with some of the statistics that we have unlike last year and we we can start retooling and ano, and doon na yung ano doon na yung totoong ano uh kumita naman tayo and we call that convert from learning to earnings na at what uh, my organization parep is uh sharing to us yun okay so earnings na uh, yeah. <laughs> Earning. After the learning, yes, sabi nga, di ba? After the learning, it's earnings na, yeah. So, maraming salamat yes. ulit, uh, consultant Charlie, no? And uh, that uh, very fruitful yung evening natin. So, as usual, yes, yes. always over time <laughs> because of the nice topic. <laughs> so, ano na siguro, partner, time to say uh, goodbye to our audience. Yes, uh, and uh, truly we are thankful and grateful for uh, consultant uh, Charlie for gracing our very first. Uh, sabi nga, uh, he gave us yung ating uh, bang for the no for the start of this year in our 29th episode of uh, Talakayang Real Estate at Teknolohiya. And somehow, uh, I hope uh, hindi to Sir Charlie ang pinakalas na mag-guest ka sa amin. And thank you for the insight and uh, truly this will uh, uh, be a you know a a guide for us no uh, on how we will we be able to start the year right and uh, kung saan yung ating focus and concent concentration for the year so we have a very good statistics again uh, you can watch all over again itong ating telecast uh, to or itong ating program for today uh, for you to be able to truly be equipped tal equipped talaga kung ano yung pwedeng yung gawin for 2021 so again we are uh, thankful for god's uh, uh, for keeping us safe si god for keeping us safe no and we hope for this year maka recover na lahat and sabi nga ni Cons Charlie okay uh, kailangan ng kumita after we learn we need to earn for 2021 so again this is your co-host for your talakayang real estate technology every saturday 6 pm uh, broker Arnel Malabayabas, also a uh, appraiser, Marina Banggi, and Happy New Year sa lahat. Okay, and uh, yes. again, uh, maraming salamat sa ating uh, guest for tonight, si consultant uh, Charlie Gao. Na. I hope sa next na lakad natin, Charlie, hindi ka na maligaw. <laughs> okay, so ano lang, yeah. uh, just... Uh, 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 one thing okay. I so, uh, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, kaya nga, use uh, the right, ano, right uh, tawag ito, yung Navigational, nag, navigational equipment or navigational apps. Pero yun nga yata nagligaw sa'yo, yung navigational apps. Eh, diba? <laughs> anyway, so maraming salamat sa pakikinig yan sa ating audience. Salamat sa mga katreat natin. Uh, once again, I would like to greet you again. A happy and blessed new year for all of us. So start, learn, start learning today after so much learning that yeah. we have during the pandemic. So... Thank you so much. Uh, good evening and uh, maray na banggi sa mga Tayloka Apikulano. And uh, see yes, you again no, but... Saturday sa ating next episode. We have again a uh, very good guest no? this coming Saturday and, and up to the end of uh, January. So we we'll look forward to seeing you again every Saturday at 6 p.m. So, see you. <laughs>